Good morning, happy new year, 2014. Um, obviously back to work, I had a few weeks off for um, Christmas vacation. One of the perks about being a teacher, many um, other perks as well, but definitely nice to have a couple weeks off, um, especially around the new year to be able to have that time to reflect and kind of think about um, my new year's resolutions and thinking about what I'm going to do for the, the following year. So. Um, today I wanted to talk just about a couple different things. You know, being the new year, I had to start it off right with a, a YouTube video. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was um, my New Year's resolutions. Um, you know, obviously I've set resolutions personally for my family, as a father, as a teacher and professional, um, but obviously as um, a bodybuilder and an, an athlete. And those goals that I've set um, are based off of, you know, my schedule this next year with, with competing. And, and my main goal is to, um, earn my, my bodybuilding pro card. That was the goal last year. I didn't achieve it. So, Hey, I'm going back to the drawing board and, and trying some different things. And, um, I still, um, believe that that will happen. And I truly believe that that's going to happen this year. I feel like I've made some adjustments, particularly in my diet that have made me look better than I ever have and uh, that's what I wanted to talk about today is kind of my my diet and the route that I've been going um, the changes that I've made they were changes that I've made not not something that I did overnight it was something that I researched for a while with me whenever I do something I have to look at the research I have to look at um, the evidence and kind of think about things before I make a, a big decision especially with your diet you know it's something that you're going to get a lot of your results from what you eat, right? So, um, anyways, the route I'm going, wrote it up on the board here, the IIFYM, if it fits your macros. Uh, macros referring to your carbs, your protein, and your fats. Um, I guess this has been around for about five years, but me still being fairly new in the game um, is new to me. You know, I've heard it. I've heard that term if it fits your macros. I've heard the term um, flexible dieting. Uh, the two are most of the time they're associated together. So the reason why I decided to look into this direction um, is a few different people that really um, influenced me. Number one, when I went to bodybuilding.com and spent the three days there um, completing the, the Pillars project that I was so honored to be a part of, um, I was able to meet Antonio Wright. Antonio Wright is a um, a guy out of Maryland who is part of 3DMJ, Three Dimensional Muscle Journey. And everybody I've seen that works with Three, three Dimensional Muscle Journey and the, the athletes themselves, they're natural bodybuilders, um, they look phenomenal. They, anyone they work with wins, right? So obviously looking at that, that's a huge indicator that they're doing something right, right? So I know that they take that approach and Antonio's, you know, directing me to the II fym.com website where you can actually go in there's a calculator and work work your macros and that's what I did and once I did that it reset my macros and the difference is it increased my carbohydrates I'm actually about 250 carbohydrates right now I'm at 70 grams of fat and I'm at about 200 to 201 grams of protein those are my my numbers that I'm hitting every day trying to hit every day getting as close as possible and um but back to again why I made that decision to go this direction. Um, so Antonia was definitely a huge influence on me. Um, also a friend that I've competed against that has quite frankly kicked my butt and anybody else he gets on stage next to is Kevin Riley who is also a natural bodybuilder and a pro and also works with 3DMJ and has that flexible dieting. I mean they've, they've told me a little bit about it you know when, as I've talked to them but you know they haven't given me a lot of information just for the fact that they need to be respectful to their um, their trainers and not share all the wealth, I guess, right? Um, so with me, I've definitely looked at those two sources. And then the third source um, is another person that I really respect. His name is Lane Norton. And Lane Norton is really well known on bodybuilding.com and in the fitness industry. He is a coach. He's out of Florida. And um, he works with a lot of people in this area that I live in that look phenomenal. And um, he has his Ph.D., and it's it's in nutrition and I, I forgot the specifics, but it has to do with you know body and biology. Bio Lane is his um, his Instagram name, 
And he's also known for the Peak Week on Bodybuilding.com, which I've also done, which I really liked because he did the front loading of the carbohydrates instead of doing the end loading. And anyways, so those are three people that really influenced me to look in this direction because everybody they work with wins and they look awesome. So, um, so going back to that, if it fits your macros calculator, I did that and I set my macros. And the difference now is that my carbohydrates are actually higher. In the past, I did the, the, the low-carb dieting, um, lots of cardio, and just kind of, I guess, you know, doing the bro science. And I do still believe in low-carb dieting. I just, my theory now is that it's something that can be used, but it needs to be used for this much time, not this, you know, not a huge amount of time like I was in the past, right? I feel like I actually did um, damage to my metabolism because I was doing it for a long period of time. And if you don't know what low-carb low carbohydrate dieting is it's when you decrease your carb intake and the philosophy in that is that your body will readjust because your body's main source of energy is carbohydrates so if you take the carbohydrates out or lower them your body is forced to tap into your body fat for energy so I think that that's still an effective method just for a short amount of time um, it's something that I, I would probably still do towards like the end like the last maybe month or so just depending on how lean I get you, know, you need to be flexible in your dieting um, and I'm in no way saying that I'm an expert, because I'm not, right? This is a, a journey for me, and I'm all about researching and learning and trying things out and taking um, notes and how I'm looking and how my body's adjusting to what I'm doing to it. So um, the whole philosophy, the way I'm understanding it with flexible dieting is, and if it fits your macros, um, is that exactly that. You're flexible with the things that you eat. And I've seen kind of an extreme on this. I've seen people that are... Uh, one side of it where they're eating all things that are traditionally not considered clean foods. That's kind of a term that's been eliminated through. Um, they, they're trying to eliminate clean foods because to them it's proteins, fats, and carbs. They're looking at those sources and they don't care if they get it from a hamburger, from you know candy or whatever, as long as they're hitting their numbers, right? So you have that far extreme where they're eating a ton of those non-traditional clean foods, right? Then you have the other end of the spectrum where you have people that are that's kind of the area that I'm floating right now, that you're eating, you know, 90, 80, 90 percent of your foods are traditionally clean foods, cleans that are, have, have um, dense, you know, nutritional value, um, and then having like a small amount of foods that aren't that traditional clean uh, source that people would consider clean food. So that term clean, I'm kind of trying to get that out of my mind because I'm just looking at the macros. But with me, my goal is to still have a daily vegetable because I feel like the vitamins that I'm receiving from those vegetables is very important. And also uh, fruit. I have the apple a day. You know, those, those certain things that I, I still feel like I, I want to consume daily. You know, I, I, I don't believe, I, don't, I, I wouldn't feel like my body was getting the nutrients it needed if I was just eating kind of dirty all the time, right? So, um, and the kind of the direction I've been going is, which I was doing up to this last photo shoot, was my carbohydrate sources. My carbohydrate sources after I worked out became the non-clean, right? I had, I have gummy bears every day after I work out um, because it's, it's a, a fast digesting carb that's going to replenish my muscles quicker. It's going to help with, um, you know, maintaining muscle mass, building muscle mass, replenishing it, you know, the glycogen, it breaks apart, your body is able to put it in your muscles quicker. Um, you know, other carb sources like a slow digesting, it's going to take your body longer to digest and get it in there. So, and I actually got the gummy bears from Jim Stepani, who um, also has a PhD, who is the editor for Muscle and Fitness and also um, does a lot of articles on bodybuilding.com. Um, Six Weeks to Shred is where he he um, brings in the gummy bears, and I actually met him at the bodybuilding.com party, went up to him and said, hey, it's because of you that I eat gummy bears every day after I work out, and he, he thought that was great, you know, was, he was the nicest guy in the world, but, so those are kind of the influences that I'm pulling from, um, I had Pop-Tart last week after I worked out, and some gummy bears, and you know what, the difference now, you know, actually, this last weekend too, I went out to dinner with my mom, and I had some fajitas, a couple um, flour tortillas, a couple, you know, some chips, but the point is I've worked it into my macronutrients. I still hit my numbers, right? It wasn't necessarily that clean food that um, I would think of. In the, in the past, my, my feeling was, okay, if I go out and I do this and I would eat something like that, I immediately became defeated, right? Mentally, I be, became defeated because I just cheated on my diet, right? And when you do that, 
you almost feel like you need to you're reverting back to square one and you you lose motivation but the difference now in the shift really because it's a mental shift here is is that hey I'm hitting my macros yeah I had some chips and salsa I was able to live a life be flexible in my diet and be able to go out and enjoy time because we all want to go out and have time you know we're social eaters we like to go out and have um, a good time with friends and family and be able to 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 eat what we want to eat right so that's important I think that the the awesome thing about flexible dieting and if it fits your macros it's more of a lifestyle change right I, I as a personal trainer I've put people on diets I've I've said hey these are the kinds of foods you need to eat and don't eat anything else right and you know I I, I feel bad because I feel like I set people up for failure right now with this I feel so much better as a trainer and myself as an athlete saying hey you know, you want a piece of cheesecake, eat that piece of cheesecake, go for it, right? But make sure that you're hitting your macros. Um, granted, if I have cheesecake and a hamburger or whatever, I'm going to hit my fats a lot quicker, so I'm not going to be able to eat or consume as much food, right? So for me, I like to eat, you know, so and I like to eat a lot, so, um, you know, I'm going to have that majority of clean foods or whatever, but then I'm going to have my, you know, again, 10 to 20 percent of things, whatever I want to eat, right? And that, that there is 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 empowering, okay? Because now I'm not getting down on myself for eating something I shouldn't have, and I feel good about what I'm doing. And not only do I feel good about what I'm doing mentally, but I also physically feel good. Um, increasing my carbohydrates, I'm fuller. I'm getting just as lean now as I'm prepping into the next 14 weeks into my next show. Um, it's just been a, a game changer for me so far. Again, I'm not claiming to be an expert on this. In no way I'm not an expert. I'm just saying how it's affecting me personally. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited because I feel like it's going to push me over that point um, to be able to get that pro card. Then I'm going to come in. I've come in lean in the past, but it wasn't as full. Um, you know, another thing that I've been doing is I decreased my cardio. This last time I decreased my cardio, I put in some, some dirty carbs, I guess you could say, and... Um, you know, and, and up my carbs a little bit, and I, I look better than I ever had before, you know, and it was it was just like, geez, you know, I'm spinning my wheels for a year or whatever, doing low-carb dieting, and, and um, just, you know, 40, 50 minutes of cardio or more, and now I'm just doing, you know, short spurts of interval cardio, and upping my carbs, and um, I feel like, again, I feel better, my training's going better, I feel like I'm able to, to do my job better, because I, I have those carbohydrates, and not walking around in the fog, so... Overall, I'm just really excited about the future. I'm excited about um, the changes so far. And was it e easy to make this change? No, it wasn't. It was scary because I had it so put into my mind that there were certain foods I could eat. And if I wasn't eating those, I wasn't doing everything I was supposed to to set myself up for, for victory. Right. So um, anyways, take it or leave it. Again, I'm not an expert on this, but so far this is um, this has definitely been a, a great change for me. I'm so very grateful I was able to meet Antonio grateful for Kevin who shared those things with me and I'm grateful for um, obviously the If It Fits Your Macros website to be able to set my numbers but um, you know really I think that's what it's all about you you need to be a student of of nutrition of training and really find out because everyone's different right everyone's bodies respond differently so I'm um, just finding out what works for you right and going through and keeping really good records and writing down your calories and you know I track I track everything I eat right the night before I track and I know exactly when I'm going to eat the next day so I can hit my numbers I go into each day with a battle plan to me it's a it's a battle plan right because if you don't have a plan you're going to fail um, so anyways um, excited about that if you uh, have any questions um, as always, you can hit me up on my body space, which is Ammon Black, A M M O N B L A C K. Um, my email is joshblack3 at yahoo.com as well. Um, you know, I appreciate questions and um, people just, you know, hit me up on an email and saying, hey, what do you think about this? Or, you know, giving me suggestions um, or even asking me questions. Either way, I, I love to hear from people. It's a um, big part of why I do what I do. You know, it's motivating to be able to to feel like I'm helping others. You know, I think um, the fitness industry is awesome because there's so many good people out there that are willing to help others and um, to get, you know, to reach their goals and be happy and live a healthy life. And that really is, is my inspiration is to be able to, to help others because, you know what, someone's helped me and um, I feel like I need to return the favor. And it's really motivating for me. It inspires me to feel like I'm helping. And um, I think that's the, the best reward um, as far as videos and 
blogs and all those types of things that I'm doing. Um, you know, it's exciting to me to be able to see, you know, give people advice or 